to my partner, Ainsley, and today we are going to be interviewing Dr. Bennett. The first question is, how do you keep track of everything? I totally rely on my Google Calendar. Everything is on my calendar. When I'm going to observe, when I have a meeting, um, when I need to talk to somebody, everything is on a calendar. All right. Number and a things to do list. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a lot of stuff that you have to do during the day or do you during the day or do you just or do you just like get everything done yeah. during the school? Um, I get most things done during the school day. I don't really work on the weekends at home. Um, I don't work at home. I stay here late on days that I need to get it done. Um, but I do have to stay late because I'm out in the building, hopefully, most of the time. So I stay late to get all the paperwork done. The third question, how long were you in college to be a principal? Okay, well, I, I went to college for a very long, long time because I loved school and never wanted to get out. So in order to be a principal, you just you have to have a four-year degree, and then they require you to get a master's degree. So you could be a principal with six years of college. Um, I went a lot longer than that. I got a four-year degree, then I went back and went two more years to add on a teaching degree. Then I got two master's degrees, which were three years each. So that's, um, yes, four, five, six, that's 12. And then it took me five more years to get my doctorate. So I was in college for 17 years. <laughs> is this your first year becoming a principal? Um, it is my first full year. And for those of you that are new or all the kindergartners, I have been at Bass Lake View. This is my seventh year. Um, I became the principal last April, I'm pretty sure. And so, but this is my first full year as a principal. Okay, fifth question. How many um, meetings in a week do you have? Okay, well, that depends on the time. I have to go to leadership twice a month, and those are all day on Wednesdays. Um, I have meetings after school. We have lots of teacher-type meetings. We have parent meetings. So, how many meetings in a week? Um, I don't know. Four to five, probably. Did why did you get your bearded dragon over a hamster? Okay, that is a great question. Why did I get the bearded dragon over a hamster? I really got the bearded dragon, and this is Trico, and he's in my office for anybody that wants to come see him. Um, I got the bearded dragon. They're much cleaner than a hamster. You don't, It takes like two minutes at the most to clean his cage. Um, they're very easy. They're very nice. Um, they don't just run around using the bathroom everywhere. He's very nice and neat and clean. And I'd never had a bearded dragon, so that was interesting. And I also had a first grader that's not here anymore. He really wanted me to get a bearded dragon, so he talked me into it. Thank you. Thank you for letting us interview you. You're welcome. Thank you guys for interviewing me. My two partners, Lillian and Sarah. Today, me and my partners are going to interview awesome Miss Mills, our great, nice assistant principal today. The questions we will ask Miss Mills are, why did you become assistant principal? What is your favorite thing about being a, an assistant principal? How do you keep track of everything? Miss Mills, why did you become this assistant principal? So when I first started off as a teacher, um, I was able to see the difference I was able to make with the students within my classroom. And so I wanted to make a difference with more students. And so after I became a teacher, I was an instructional coach and I was able to help multiple students across the school. But then I decided that I wanted to be able to um, really make an impact in students' lives. And so that's why I became an administrator, but I also get the, the privilege of working with teachers and helping to make a difference in their lives too, and helping them to make themselves better, but also see students become better with their learning. Um, Ms. Mills, what is your favorite thing about being an assistant principal? 
think the biggest thing is is just seeing the growth in children each day and being able to go into the classrooms and see the students engaged in learning and then the teachers really excited about what they're teaching um, but just to see that everybody in the school is growing and um, I'm able to help make that difference each day. Ms. Mills, how do you keep track of it? Well, Miss Mills loves sticky notes. <laughs> so I have a lot of sticky notes, but I do use my calendar. And so um, the day before, I just write down everything that I've got to do the next day so that uh, I'm ready when I come in in the mornings. Um, and then I just keep track of everything. And so as I'm going throughout the day, I just make sure that I mark off stuff to make sure that I've got everything covered for the day and have made it to all my meetings. But the most, the biggest part of my day is I just want to make sure that I'm in and out of the classroom so that I can be able to um, engage with the teachers and the students each day. Hi, my name is Clyde. This is my partner, Harper. Today we're, we are going to be talking about the canned food drive. The canned food drive started November 28th through December 15th. Our, our first goal was 1,000 cans, and now we have 2,168 cans. It goes to families in need in our community through Vast Lines Club. Thank you for who donated the cans to our school. Eagle soar with pride. It's time to say goodbye.